what is a double displacement reaction? During this reaction, the cations in two different ionic compounds exchange places, forming two new ionic compounds. This reaction is represented by the formula AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. A great analogy to help remember this reaction is a basketball analogy. We can relate this to basketball players and teams. DeRozan used to play for the Raptors and Kawhi used to play for the Spurs. DeRozan and Kawhi are our cations because they ended up switching places. In 2018, Kawhi played for the Raptors while DeRozan played for the Spurs. There are four types of double displacement reactions. Firstly, we have a double displacement reaction that forms a solid. The solid in this reaction is usually a solid precipitate. An example of this reaction would be sodium chloride plus silver nitrate yields sodium nitrate plus silver chloride. As you can see, sodium and silver are our cations because they swapped places. The solid precipitate that was formed in this reaction was sodium chloride. If you are not sure how we figured out the state of sodium chloride, make sure to check out our video called How to Figure Out the State of an Element or Compound. Secondly, we have double displacement reactions that form a gas. During this reaction, one product quickly decomposes into water and gas. An example of this reaction would be acetic acid plus sodium bicarbonate yields sodium acetate plus carbonic acid. But we're not done. As we mentioned, it also needs to break down into water and a gas, so we will further break down carbonic acid into water and carbon dioxide, giving us our final equation. Here's another example of a reaction that decomposes into water and a gas. Ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide yields sodium chloride plus ammonium hydroxide. Again, we're not done yet. Ammonium hydroxide breaks down into water and ammonia gas. This gives us our final equation. Thirdly, we have a double displacement reaction that is also considered a neutralization reaction. In this reaction, an acid is added to a base to yield water and salt. An example of this reaction would be sulfuric acid plus potassium hydroxide yields water and potassium sulfate. The acid in this reaction is sulfuric acid and the base is potassium hydroxide. They yield water and potassium sulfate, which is the salt. Lastly, we have double displacement reactions that have no reaction. If the two products formed are both soluble, meaning they're both aqueous, then there is no reaction. For example, sodium hydroxide plus potassium chloride yields potassium hydroxide plus sodium chloride. But, since potassium hydroxide and sodium chloride are both aqueous, there is no reaction. And that's double displacement reactions explained quickly. Thank you for watching! Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more chemistry videos, and don't forget to press the notification bell. Comment down below any questions you'd like to see answered next.